Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is week four of my decluttering and minimalization, selling everything that I own to go traveling full time. And this weekend, it's the garage sale. So it's Saturday today and tomorrow morning is my garage sale. So I thought it would be useful to show you the chaos that is involved in setting it up. So I have been going around each room, putting out all the things I want to sell and then labeling them with a price and finding a space for it in the garage. And it's been really tough because the garage is absolutely packed that I've had to then bring some things out and store them elsewhere in the house. And because I don't know what the weather's going to be like on Sunday, the forecast says it will be dry, but you can't be sure. I can't put anything outside yet, but I'm hoping that tomorrow morning I'll be able to put some trellis tables out, you know, the wallpaper tables, and put out some of the, the my belongings on there to make some space. Otherwise, no one's going to be able to get in the garage to walk around. But let me take you around and show you the chaos. So in the living room, I've had to stack up all the DVDs and CDs. And I'm really hoping that the weather is nice tomorrow and I can put those on a table outside. I've also pulled out one of those artificial plants so I'm not scrambling tomorrow morning to do it. So you'll recall this bedroom which is my laundry room as well where we started on week one and all the pictures are down in the mirrors and in the garage and then down here are crates and this little cabinet that was in the corner. Now hopefully they can go outside on the drive. And the clothes that we pulled out that wardrobe that haven't sold on Vinted, I've just put there for now until I've got the clothes rail and I know they can go downstairs. And in this room again I've taken down the pictures that I don't want to keep pulled out the wardrobe, the things that I need to sell and the little bits of furniture from here, not the guitar, that's my son's, that's like there. Every time I go downstairs, more clothes, I grab something to carry with me and I couldn't fit my motor in the garage so I had to bring that out and put it in here for now. It's not ideal. So here we are in the garage and I've made this space here to put a clothes rail that I need to go and pick up later today that I can hang clothes on. But as you can see, I've gone round putting things out of cupboards and putting prices on them. And this is actually as far as I can get at the moment because I've had to put boxes here. I, now, when I, on Sunday morning, tomorrow morning rather, I can open the garage doors and move some of this stuff outside, like all these plant pots down here. Can you see them under the box? And then I was thinking these boxes I can use as like a shelving area to put the blankets on and things that I want to sell. But other than that, on this side, we've got a lot of kitchen where all ready to go, baking stuff. Also upstairs I've got some bigger sort of furniture and got here, you know, thankfully I have these shelves and I can just put things here. Now it took me a good few hours yesterday to sort through all my old jewellery and uh, sort that out to sell. It's not an easy task. So also this week I've had one viewing on my house and I have another one scheduled for next week. 
Um, I'm a little bit disappointed that there hasn't been more interest or that the agents haven't been able to find anyone on their books to come and have a look. But I'm, I'm, I'm remaining optimistic. I have a, you know, my house is in a very good location. Um, it's in the centre of Stratford-upon-Avon. It's got parking, which is very rare. So this really should be selling itself. But fingers crossed, let's, let's just see. Now, you would have noticed I still have quite a lot of furniture around. Um, so my plan is to see how the garage sale goes tomorrow. Um, how much I have left then, whether I need to do car boot sale or if it's things I can sell privately through Facebook Marketplace. We'll have to make a call on that, I think, tomorrow. And then for the big furniture, I can go through it room by room and sell on Marketplace the things that I need to sell. Um, my son, my younger son, has actually just put an, uh, an offer on a house um, where he lives. And so he may need some of the furniture, which will make everybody's life a lot easier. But we won't find out that for, well, next week or the week after. I did say to them, let's do a video call. I'll go around the rooms and you just tell me what you want and what you don't. I think that's the easiest way. Anyway, let's see how tomorrow goes. And I'll catch up with you then. Oh, good morning, everyone. It's 7.30 in the morning. and I guess I'd better start getting everything set up ready for nine. My friend should be here by half eight, but there's a lot to get sorted. I'm very tired. This garage sale preparation is exhausting. So here we go. Let's get this sorted so we can actually get around. So I'm going to go and open up, move out, move my car out of the way and open up the garage and start sorting this out. Oh, so now we've got all of that stuff out the middle. Well, it's looking more like a garage so We put all the garden stuff outside. Um, now my friend's here. We can move the rest of it out. Friend has arrived to help. Say hello, Sharon. some of the big things and quite a lot of stuff yeah, and it. so now we we're, we're finished for the day that's over so I've got my cup of tea it is not very warm here today it's very windy it's very cold and the Sun just keeps making an appearance but it was cold out there and um, although it, the forecast said no rain there was a few showers so we had to put some of the things indoors so the DVDs and the CDs I put in the back of my van actually and um anyone that wanted to look could sort of stick their head in the van um, and I left, I've left them there for storage for now. Um, first hour had a lot of people come in and buy some of the main items so the big artificial plants, 
the old apple crates went um, a lot of plant pots did go so that's good that's reduced that amount down and then lo lots of other things oh most of my lamps went and uh, so I would say sort of semi-successful and uh, so I'm not I'm not really going to complain um, about that and I took 220 pounds not the world but I'll do that Next, I think I'm going to try, um, it's like an indoor car boot sale at the end of this month that's been held at a local Stratford charity. So I think I might give that a go to try and um, sell some of my more antique things in my glassware. And then I'm going to continue selling my clothes on Vinted. Like I've said before, I'm having like medium success with that and a uh, Facebook marketplace for some of the appliances and things. Oh, and one of the Hoovers went, you know, my Vax carpet cleaner went. And that was the one lady, she seemed to buy, she, I think she was half my sales, she brought most of my things. Um, so yeah, no, it's good. I'm very grateful to my friend Sharon to come and ha for coming to help me because uh, I think it would have been really lonely to do it on your own and also when you were moving things in and out because of the rain it was so much easier to have a pair of hands with so I'm very grateful to my friend and uh, would I do a garage sale again? I, I would do it, I think it's a good way to move stuff quickly without having to kind of leave your home I didn't expect to get rid of everything, but it's a very good start. So I would recommend it as a first stage. I don't think I'd do one again because the main items have gone. And um, so I'm going to look at other things. Anyway, I probably won't do a video for a couple of weeks now because there's you've seen most of my decluttering. Um, you've seen the chaos. Uh, all I've really got left now is I've got one wardrobe. No, one and a half wardrobes to pull everything out and sort out. But most of the things I've got left now are things I want to keep. So that when um, I, you know, I, I'm not in a hurry now because the house hasn't been sold yet. Um, but uh, I will say one good thing about doing the garage sale was it did incentivize me to pull out things I knew I wasn't going to keep, like all the big kitchen appliances the gardening equipment and things like that and so that is all now in the garage so in a way I've done quite a lot in just a few weeks thank you very much for following my journey so far and I will give an update in two or three weeks when I have some more news to share or if I decide to tackle one of those wardrobes and uh, the one in my bedroom I really don't want to do Hmm. Thank you, as always, for your support, and I will catch up with you soon. I'm going to go and have a nap now. I'm exhausted. Ciao.